Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. I also have a second channel so you should check that out down below if you like reading books. But I'm Cassie and today I wanted to talk about the word surrender. If you didn't know, because you might not know, this channel is new, I work in a treatment center for teen girls and we work with all sorts of different variety of reasons they're in treatment, whether that be drug and alcohol abuse, eating disorders, anxiety and depression, which is the big one, all sorts of the spectrum of mental health reasons to be in treatment, but that's what I do for a living. And so doing that, we take them to different meetings and we take them and we work with them for different, a variety of things. So one of the things that came up recently while I was at work was the idea of surrendering. And I just really liked it. It really resonated with me in that moment of surrendering. For me, what the word surrender means in life is to like recognize that you don't have control over everything that happens. In fact, you have no control over the people around you or the world or what accident is going to happen coming up if your car breaks down if the traffic's really bad and you can't get to work if your friend gets upset with you when you didn't think that they were going to get upset you have no control over any of these things and so instead of asking the question why is this happening to me i really like the change of mindset there where it's what can i learn from this and what do i do next i just really like that. <laughs> Frankly, I just really like that. So what does the word surrender to me mean is being able to let go of the idea that I can do everything right. Because even if you think you can do everything right, what you do doesn't control what other people around you and how they're going to react. So you might think, oh, first of all, this situation happened. I didn't control that. Now I'm going to react to the situation and I think I reacted to it well, but maybe somebody else watches you react and doesn't like how you reacted. Well, you can't control their reaction either. So now you have to react to that. And just being able to recognize that you can't go backwards, you only can go forwards. I don't know. I don't, I, maybe this is like a, it's just honestly an open-ended question of that change in mindset and how, how do we go from thinking you know, how is this my fault? Because sometimes life isn't your fault. Sometimes life is just life. So how do you switch that into thinking, okay, well, this has happened now. It has happened to me or around me. And now what will I learn and how will I react? And I think that's a really important question and an important way of looking at things. And it's definitely something I'm still working on myself. I don't always react that way. I do sometimes think, oh, like I need to do this. I guess the important takeaway for me from this word surrender that I, that I heard all these people talking about the word surrender was that you don't have control over the situation, but you do have control how you react to it. You do have control what you learn and what you take away from it. And so whether that means, okay, you go to, you go to this party and you're thinking that this party is gonna be mellow and fine, and then you go in and it's a rager and there's more than just alcohol there. Now you're in this situation that you don't feel comfortable in. Well, you're there. You have no control over this exact moment. You are there. It already happened. But now you have the opportunity to react, react to it. Do you continue walking inside? Do you tell your friends, oh, never mind, I'm going home? Do you ask your friends to leave with you? Do you say, it's cool, stay? Do you say, I'm worried if you stay and I think we should all leave? What do you do? Or you're in charge of something at work and you turned it in 15 minutes late and thought, oh, no big deal. That's fine. It's it's still there on, on time because it's the day of. But then your boss gets mad at you for it being 15 minutes late. And there's a timestamp on it because it's an email. Well, okay, now your boss is mad. You didn't think they were going to be mad. You didn't think it, of anything of it. Now what? <laughs> How do you react? Or you're trying to move up in your company and you're working on getting a promotion, but your boss isn't, hasn't responded to your email questioning what you need to do in order to get there. Do you just let it go? Do you just say, well, they didn't respond, so that's not my problem. Or do you follow up and you email them again? You have both of those options. Which one do you do? I don't know. I don't really have an ending to this thing, but I wanted to start the conversation. So 
what do you think the word surrender means to you in your life? What, what can you recognize in yourself that you need to let go a little bit? And instead of trying to control the situation, instead just work on reacting to it. I guess that's it for today. It's kind of a open-ended ending. But I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. It's definitely the first one I've ever made of this style. If you're interested in starting a discussion in the comments down below, I would love to hear your thoughts and feelings on this topic of surrendering and letting go and all of that. And I will see you guys very soon with a new one. On this channel, I make videos every Friday and Sunday. On my booktube channel, I make videos every Thursday and Saturday. So if you want to check out what I'm reading and how, what I like to read and what you like to read and you want to talk about books, that would be a great place to go subscribe. I'm really hoping that I can hit this channel at 500 subscribers before the end of the year. I'm also hoping to hit 1,000 subscribers on the booktube channel, so if you want to go check both of these out, I'd greatly appreciate it. I also have all my social media linked down below. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye! I love you!